11-year-old Gabby Bunnell does the same sorts of things most other kids do, except when it comes to choosing snacks. Most days, it's popcorn. It's one of the snacks that I eat that doesn't really make my stomach hurt. If she eats cheese sticks and ice cream, like her younger sister... It hurts just really bad and it makes you want to feel like you want to lay down and you don't want to do much. Gabby is deficient in the lactase enzyme, so she's not able to digest milk sugar or lactose. Her mom, Becky, recognized the symptoms when Gabby was very young because she, too, is lactose intolerant. I knew something was up, and then as she grew, we would try different things, and she would definitely have reactions of gas bloating, pain, that kind of thing. When she would eat ice cream or cheese or drink regular milk, It's unusual for lactose intolerance to develop before age two. It's typically diagnosed in late adolescence or adulthood. It can be confused with a milk allergy, which tends to occur in infancy and is usually outgrown by age three. Symptoms can be similar, but in addition to digestive problems, a milk allergy can cause hives, wheezing, runny nose, and watery eyes. A milk allergy is a negative or an adverse immune response to the milk protein. Intolerance is just the body is not able to digest the lactose. Lactose intolerance can be diagnosed by eliminating milk products to see if symptoms improve. Or your doctor can do a hydrogen breath test. The good news about lactose intolerance is if you don't have symptoms, you're not doing any harm to your body by continuing to consume dairy products. Lactose intolerance can be simply treated by avoiding or reducing dairy. If I see macaroni and cheese and it it looks kind of good, then I'll only get a little bit of it, so it won't upset my stomach. But that may come with a cost to the child. From a bone health standpoint and a health standpoint in general, they do need to worry about their vitamin D and calcium intake. And so if they're not getting it with dairy products, they need to supplement that. Parents can counter that issue by buying lactose-free dairy products, foods fortified with vitamin D and calcium, and foods naturally high in both nutrients. I think I just found dinner. Cod, salmon, or tuna are good choices for vitamin D, while dark leafy greens are high in calcium. We're going to put those in a salad. Do you want to try a little piece? There are over-the-counter aids that may help as well. They actually have lactase drops, and then they have the lactase enzymes that you can either add to food or take just before the meal um, so that it can help you to digest the lactose. Since there are so many options for managing a child with lactose intolerance, it's not a diagnosis to be feared. For WebMD, I'm Sandy Lamott.